Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest V. Let's head into Fairy Leah. <laughs> right, wrong, uh, wrong button. So, is it different to the time you came before, or hasn't it changed much? Oh, there used to be more fairies about. I wonder where they've all gone then. Oh, actually, I didn't even notice that. Also, the game has decided to just toss Sancho into the party. Oh, if I always know the. No, this quest of yours, it is hard. But I know think he's so, so hard you must travel to the realm of the fairies. But you know, it's no so bad here, eh? It's a very beautiful place. I'm surprised Ellie doesn't have anything to say. Ah, uh, let me see now. Yes, I say it's been about 20 years since the last human visitor came to Fairy Leah. What? It was you? Well, slap me round the face with the Metal King Slime! Uh, okay. I don't have one right now, but, um... If you, if you would wait, I will try to find one. Eh, uh, friend, I, I know tell you... ...that you must stay inside the town, but you come so far away to this place. Okay? You come here from inside our house? So he really did used to be a little boy. Does that mean Sancho was small once too? No, he, he never was. He was always fat. The fairies and the monsters all get along fine together here. That's the way it should be. Wow, Goomans. Last time Goomans came here was ages ago. Hey, have you been north yet? The old dwarf made a super squishy playground there. That slime looked really cute, don't you think? Uh, not as cute as Kijigoon. Oh, you think our slimes look the same? That's weird. No, I, I, I didn't say that. Is it always spring here? I'm sure that's not the only reason for the place having such a warm feel to it, though. There only seem to be girl fairies. I feel like a bit of an intruder. Yeah, a little bit. Nothing there. Hello, fairy. This is Fairy Leah. Trico's in charge of everything here. What, a gold orb? <laughs> I don't know. You'd better ask Treacle about that. Is Treacle a friend of yours, Dad? I'd like to meet her if she is. Uh, what if she isn't? Um, screw her. <laughs> Just the idea of staying the night in the realm of the fairies is really exciting. We'd probably all have lovely dreams if we stayed the night here, don't you think, Dad? Go ahead and stay. Uh, there are a bunch of new enemies around. I'll uh, take a look at the big book of beasts when we get out of town. I need to remember exactly what we've seen and what we haven't seen. <laughs> I wish I could live in a room like this. Do you uh, still have the same stuff that you sold before? No, you don't. Okay, um... We'll get the, uh, the flame armor. Well, actually, let me, uh, let me take a look at the, uh, the dragon mail. Uh, we'll reduce damage from fire-based attacks. Okay, and what did it say that these did? Magic and ice-based attacks. Well, it's better defense. Get one for a Nameless as well. I like how even though um, the rest of the party isn't with us, we can still equip them with stuff. Uh, let's see. Flowing Dress, a graceful garment that deflects damage from magic and fire-based attacks. Okay, that's going to be a little bit worse for Ellie, but I think that the uh, um, magic defense effect will be better. And we will get one for Kijigun as well.
Uh, let's see. There's a flame shield. This incendiary item can impede the, the impact of magic and ice-based attacks. Go ahead and grab one of those. And the thinking cap. Uh, Mason can equip that, actually. Said it would increase wisdom. Not sure how much. And... Oh, we don't have enough for the power shield. I suppose I could sell some stuff, but... Nah. Stuff is getting expensive, though. <laughs> I was wondering if there was any area-based stuff to say. Nope. Alright. In we go. I never get used to these floating stairs. The stairs, they, they must be firm, you know. See, very, very firm. The walls and the stairs are all watery. Fairies are so amazing. Oh, you know what? I uh, I don't think I ever noticed that there's a, a little moving pattern here. There's water everywhere, but it doesn't feel cold. I suppose that's because it's spring water. I mean, water in the spring. Welcome to Fairy Dia's library, I'm sure, but... Do I understand you're looking for the fairy palace? Um... Yes, I guess. Well, the fairy palace is normally invisible to humans, but if you blow the fairy horn when you're near it, you should be able to see it too. You must find a lake in the middle of a dense forest surrounded by mountains. That's where you need to blow the horn. Okay. Don't seem to be any books of particular interest. And I believe Ald wasn't able to read last time we were here, so let's read now. There's a book called The Life of Humans. Ald takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. The human is a creature that ages significantly faster than we fairy kind. It's not unknown for humans to change so quickly that even if two parties have met re relatively recently, they do not recognize one another. This is just one example of the hurried and busy lives humans lead, a world apart from our tranquil fairy ways. Apparently there are two copies of this book here. Must be a popular book. And down here. Ald looks at the bookshelves. There's a book called From the Mouths of Trees. Ald takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. Trees are living beings. They feel the breeze in their leaves, the ground with their roots, and they touch the sky with their uppermost branches. They feel more strongly than any other beings when change takes place in the world. And it is they, with their mighty trunks, who tell the tale of all that has passed. Apparently there are two copies of this book here, too. Okay. Again, must be a popular book. <laughs> Hello, I do not need to save. Got stuck on that plant there. <laughs> These stairs don't seem to uh, have any, like, moving patterns in it. Hello! I know it's you, Ald. You can't fool me. Wow, it's been ages, hasn't it? If you want to know how to find Queen Caramel, you should speak to Sherbet downstairs in the library. Good luck, Ald. Treacle, honey, Sherbet. Fairy's names are also sweet, don't you think? I don't know, a treacle? What, is, what the heck does treacle mean? Was Honey a bit more chatty the last time you met her, Dad? I bet she's being quiet now to show respect to treacle. Syrup of figs, Ald. It's been so many years. You did such a lot for us then. We're still in your debt. Is there something I can do to help you? Well, actually, yes, there is. Ald explains the situation. I see. It seems at last the time has come when I can fulfill the promise I made and repay you. I will give you this horn, Ald. With it, you will be able to call upon the aid of our queen, Queen Caramel. Ald receives a fairy horn. Ald places a fairy horn in the bag. 
Queen Caramel, eh? So when we blow this horn, we get to meet the Queen? Will you let me blow it, Dad, please? No, son. You can't play with my toys. There's so many fairies here. Do you think I might be able to make friends with some of them? It's all connected, see? You helped someone in the past, and now they help you. <laughs> Why are there humans here, anyway? Maybe they're not actually humans. Maybe they're, uh, they're fairies, and they just look like humans. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we got three pages now, so yes, we can zoom to Zenithia as well. We can zoom to Fairy Leah. Let's just get out of town quickly. Alright, uh, before we head back, though, we're definitely going to, um, pay a visit to the, uh, um, TNT board up there. Uh, but before we do that... Oh, right, I also, uh, picked up, um... Uh, a bad apple, Granny. I do have a name in mind for this one, so no need to suggest one. Uh, and a goodie bag named Gumdrops, which uh, I do not have a name for. Feel free to suggest one. Um, that one only has a wisdom of five. Interesting. And let's see. Oh, yes. I was going to take a look at the Big Book of Beasts. All right, where were we? Somewhere around here. All right, we've seen them. Mandrake Majors. Uh, revolting horses are occasionally recruitable. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, Blizzy bodies are hard to recruit, as evidenced by the fact that I have killed 100 of them and have not gotten any. Stenturians are unrecruitable. Necromancers are unrecruitable. Uh, King Cure Slimes are hard to recruit. Red Hot Pokers are unrecruitable. Hippopotamuses are unrecruitable. How many of those have I... I've already gotten an item out of one of them, and I've only fought eight of them. Interesting. Uh, Warhogs are occasionally recruitable. I'll have to go uh, look for them. Hades Helm, hard to recruit. Prowler Jowler, unrecruitable. Hyperpyrexian, unrecruitable. Pterociceratops, unrecruitable. Mandrake Marauder, unrecruitable. Silvopithecus, unrecruitable. Pummel Horse, unrecruitable. Dragon Zombie, unrecruitable. Bomb boulders are hard to recruit. Okay. Given that they can uh, do a kerplunk on uh, the rest of their group. Um, I suppose they could be useful, actually. Uh, quadra heads are unrecruitable. Musifers are easy to recruit. I've fought 12 of them, though. Um, they're back in the forest, so we may try for them again. Thwart hogs are unrecruitable. Ourobosses are unrecruitable. Snowbirds are occasionally recruitable. <coughs> this is out into the uh, sea stuff. Um, and then uh, right around uh, Fairy Leo, you can encounter Pip Fighters, which are occasionally recruitable. Uh, battle Pips, which are occasionally recruitable. Uh, Epiphanies, occasionally recruitable. And Whiz Pips, occasionally recruitable. Um, you will always encounter groups of these four guys, um, one of each. So, depending on which one you kill uh, last is the one that you try to recruit. Um, at this point, since I haven't recruited any of them, I just go hogwild and just let them let my party decide who they uh, attack. Um, so, yeah, I have not recruited any of them yet. Which is unfortunate. Um, and then back in the forest, uh, we can fight Conquistadors, uh, which are also occasionally recruitable, and Conquerors, which are occasionally recruitable. And there's two more of these as well, uh, matching the Priest and the uh, Wizard type. So... The, the versions of the Whizpips and the Epiphanies. Um, 
but I've not actually encountered them. All right, so that's uh, that's what we've faced so far. Let's go ahead and head up to the TNT board. See if we can kill some mental pitchers first, which are unrecruitable. I think I've gotten the uh, things that I wanted to recruit around here, which is the bad apple. Oh no, there are heal slimes around here too. I would not mind getting a uh, heal slime. I do have a cure slime already, but... Wouldn't mind getting uh, another. Don't really care about any of you. Alright, into the TNT board we go. I love TNT just as much as you do. Is that why you brought me here? I didn't bring you here. I came here. You just tagged along. Mm, this is a tricky one. I wonder which way to move. Have you got a TNT ticket, Dad? I'd love to have a go. Okay, this is definitely a very complex one. Really seeing anything else up here. Let's go down these stairs that were over. Oh, hello. After the Winter Queen passed and the Winter Palace disappeared, something very unusual took its place. You can walk around these sports, see? It's a good idea to, to see what you must do before you start the game, no? You defeated a bad monster here once, didn't you, Dad? You're cool. Of course I am. Has that skeleton been left here all on his own? Poor thing. Um, I don't think he's been left here all on his own. I mean, there's people around here. Hello? What? A TNT ticket! Alt acquires a TNT ticket! And medicinal herb. Yay. When the winter palace melted to nothing, it left a big hole in the earth behind. I fell in it by accident and couldn't get out, so I decided to make this TNT board to pass the time. Seriously? Wow, he made this place on the, all on his own? This man, he, he make something from nothing, eh? He's a good quality, these. Wouldn't it have been easier to build some stairs so we could get out rather than building a TNT board? Yeah, I, I kind of feel that that's the case. And that door is locked. We can't get through it. That's probably the exit. <laughs> From the uh, the TNT board, I mean. Alright, so there is the start. There's 200 coins. There's a teleporter. There's a... Uh, oh. There's a metal slime monster icon. Alright, you know what? I bet I can, uh... Rotate the... No, I cannot rotate the camera. So I can't actually look around at the board. Now that's pretty crummy, actually. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's take a save state before we dive in this, just in case it goes really badly and we, like, don't get anything good out of it. Welcome to the TNT board. One round of TNT will cost you one TNT ticket. Are you game? Sure. That's one TNT ticket then. Thank you very much. You get a total of 23 goes at rolling the die here. Good luck. Only one person can take part in the game at a time. Be careful out there, won't you? Okay. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Alright, so... There is a mini metal somewhere. There is a Hermes hat and a robe of serenity around. Uh, seed of wisdom. Nothing else really great. Um, there's actually some other things around too. Uh, well, there's a there's actually a whole lot. 
Okay, this is going to be very interesting. This is definitely a complex one. I got a good roll to start off with. I'm not sure where I'm going from here. Alright, let's consult the map. Alright, so I would not mind getting to that, uh, which... Okay, that actually, that has packs a punch, which isn't all that interesting. I would not mind getting six to get that, uh, bonus die roll. There is a treasure chest up there. Which has the robe of serenity. Uh, those drawers have... That has the Hermes hat, so I do want to get that. Um, this treasure chest here has an elfin elixir, so I don't really care that much about that. That pot has a TNT ticket, so I don't much care about that. Oh, wow, that actually goes back to the start. That's... Oh, no, that, that doesn't actually go back to the start. That's coming here. All right. So that cave icon is a dungeon, I believe. Um, and it would be a random one which you ended up going to. All right, so where is the... Okay, so we need to land on that finish tile. And then you fall down that hole. All right. There's a gate. I don't know exactly what that means. Probably means I can't go through there. Let me see. Um... I don't actually see, uh... Huh. I don't actually see what that, uh, what that means. Alright, well that pot has, um, a mini metal in it, so I do want to get that. The drawers have... a TNT ticket. That is apparently a metal slime. I don't know what that uh, maze icon means. Oh, treasure trove. All right, so I do want to get to that at some point. Uh, T. That's uh, that that treasure chest right there above it is empty. So there's another dungeon there, but that doesn't matter since that's okay. Uh, and then. That pot has a seed of wisdom. Okay, so it's a very complex uh, uh, one. It is a, a m real shame that I cannot uh, manipulate the dice on this, unfortunately, but oh well. All right, let's go ahead and roll. Oh. Nice. Alright, so I am passing up... What was this again? Pax Punch. I don't care about that. What luck! Aldwin's an extra two rolls of the dice! Very, very nice. Alright, um... What would I like, ideally? So six would get me to the inn. Um... Anything other than two is fine. I'll take that. Win 500 gold coins. Well, poop. I'm still 300 uh, ahead. I would like to get two now. For that robe of serenity. Ow. Ah, inc incoming electromagnetic wave. All takes 100 points of damage. Ow. Um, and that shop there, uh, let's see, what does it sell? Can I see what it sells? Uh, medicinal herb, antidotal herb, packs a punch, boxer shorts, and fairy foil. 
So... Nothing all that interesting. Alright. Yeah, and I cannot go to the left. There's a chest of drawers here. Let's take a look inside. Sure. Perfect. Wow, a Hermes hat! Okay, so that's good. That is definitely worth uh, taking that 100 damage. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I got plenty of hit points right now. Walking corpses. Not at all a problem. Now, I would like to get to two. And I do not get two. Oh! Ha-ha! This is an entrance to the TNT dungeon. Venture inside? Yes! Alright, so... It is random which one you get. Um, I don't know exactly which one I have. Okay, this is uh, number two. Uh, so the pot has a mini metal in it. That chest has a flame shield. The drawers have a tombola ticket. And that other chest has an elfin charm. I don't know what that does. So obviously I would like to get them all. And there's also a metal slime. Alright, so... Um, I would like to get the mini metal most, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, crap. Ah, incoming electromagnetic wave! All takes 100 points of damage! Oh, that's crap. I get some money out of it. Well, looks like I'm dead. Yikes, you came a bit of a cropper there, didn't you? TNT may be just a game, but that doesn't mean you can afford to let your guard down. Better luck next time. Ow. Alright, well, I picked up a uh, Hermes hat. Uh, which Ellie already has equipped. What does it do again? A uh, hardy hat that can also serve as a handy alternative to a chim chimera wing. Oh, right. be better for Kijigun. Um, might be a good hat for Bianca when we get her back, though. Okay. Um, well, that's about it for this episode. I think that we'll spend the next episode trying, you know, making a couple more attempts at this. Because um, there is still a lot left to get, and I would like to get to the... Um, the ending, get the uh, uh, rewards there. Um, worst case scenario, though, is if, you know, we never, uh, we don't get all the stuff here. There is eventually an item that you'll get which uh, gives you unlimited passes at this, and I'll, I'll just keep coming back until I get all the stuff. So, like, off screen. Um, just to quickly run through other things, um... So there is a dragon shield in here somewhere, an Igdrossel leaf, a uh, flame tang boomerang, a bunch of TNT tickets, total of two mini medals, I believe. Um, I think it might be. Uh, no, that's that's separate. Um. Do. 
All right, so... It looks like there's going to be a total of four mini metals in here. I'm not sure if I'm looking at the thing correctly. There's also a siren sword uh, and a bunch of other little things around. But those are the those are kind of good things to get, I think. All right. Well, um, for now, we'll uh, call it an episode. When we come back next time, we'll uh, make a few more goes at uh, this TNT board. See you then, everyone.